People are aware that there are women in comics and there are more and more women in comics, but there have always been women in comics. There have been women in comics for decades. During the 1950s and 1960s, the readership of comics was split 55% female and 45% male. Our house was like a bedroom and then the rest of the house was comics. The more superheroes took hold, the less anything else got any priority. So we sat down and we talked quite a bit about how we wanted to form a comic. Nobody had done women's bodies from a woman's point of view. The potential was there that comics could do anything. We decided to get even with men. You're entering a golden age of breaking into comics if you're female. And there are more women in comics than ever, and that's really exciting to see. You can tell any kind of story in comics, and let's really try to do progressive material always. You write stories for people, and if you have more women involved, you're probably going to have more women reading. Female fandom has exploded. There is a community out there. Just go in, dive in, head first. It's going to be awesome. It's become more acceptable to be a woman and to go to a convention. I think the more women that come out and say, I'm interested in comics and I'm not ashamed of that, the more women are like, oh, I, I'll take a look at this and I'll give it a try. I'm an artist and I don't do anything for anybody. It's me and the paper, and, and total honesty. To bring all of these women together, these smart, creative, powerful women together, telling their stories, telling the history of women in comics, stands as such an amazing example to women out there, to girls out there, that there are a lot of women in this club, and that there's always room for more.